Okay, here we are at 8680 Plum Creek Court in Franklin Township, or Car Carlisle School District in Ohio. And here we are, we're gonna go take a look inside. So this is the inside, nice little area. Everything is kind of modern, you know. So it's 1,800 square feet, and uh, I think they use, they, they make use of the layout very well. So it's a modern layout. Um, it's not the full open concept, but it's pretty close. So, I mean, this, this is really what most people would say is an open concept, where you have the formal living room area here, you know, potentially, then your little family room area here, although it really could be one big area. They made it an office right here, which is kind of nice. You can make it a little play area or even the dining area. Um, it's a nice flex area, and that's sort of that modern design. And so then you go into the living uh, family room, living area in here, which also goes into the Eden kitchen portion, and then uh, the, obviously the kitchen over there. So um, the flooring is looks like a laminate uh, plank type of flooring, good quality, uh, durable, I would say very durable. Quality. I don't know if it's the full waterproof variety or not, but it does look newer and it probably means it is. So usually the, the, the folks getting these vinyl planks usually get the full waterproof versions since those old ones definitely had some issues uh, with pulling up. Uh, basically any kind of moisture would pull them up, they would bubble up. And uh, so these look like the newer ones, look like they're the better ones, but it's hard to see uh, right now. So. I would say it's definitely newer and they look nice so then you have a little closet here so storage closet that's your uh, for the well that's your pressure tank for the well well water so this is your intake from the well into the house which is interesting so it's right underneath um, yeah it's right underneath your stairs to go upstairs Okay, and this looks like to be your pantry. Oh, a nice size pantry. It's bigger than I thought it would be. It actually can be a walk-in. Could even put a little bit more, uh, I'd say, uh, area right over in here. Maybe put a couple more shelves over here, just like they did on this side. The flooring continues all throughout, which is nice. They didn't skimp on that. Sometimes they don't go into the closets, so it's interesting. All right, so then this is probably your coat closet. Kind of standard. Your half bath on the first floor. Looks pretty modern. Nice sink. Sink looks updated. No issues that I can see on the ceilings. Here's the garage. Garage has a nice little bump out on this side. So uh, if you actually did park your car in here, the, the car would end up right here. And then you have a good, I'd say, maybe two and a half to three feet on the side of that. So you can put up plenty of storage here and still park, which is pretty nice. Um, and then on the left side, the left side here is actually not a whole whole lot of room on this side. So if you have the storage, the storage right here, it kind of cuts into the area. So you can, if you didn't have the storage here, you can put two cars in here and it would fit okay. But the storage is going to make it difficult to have a second car on this side because you wouldn't be able to open a door there. But uh, that's, you know, a matter of preference. So like what they did, they actually had some uh, space on the ceiling, you know, that they were putting some hooks and some storage uh, ability up here, which is kind of nice and thoughtful. So um, you don't really have much space between where the car would end and then also the wall. There's not really a whole lot of space to put there, but you have plenty of space over there. So that's kind of nice. Um, all the concrete looks pretty good. 
I don't see any issues with the concrete. And uh, that would be it for the garage. We'll go back to the kitchen. And so in the kitchen, I mean, it, you know, th this isn't like your upgraded type of kitchen that I could see. Um, it's laminate countertops. And you're pretty much your cheapest variety of laminate. Um, the cabinetry is pretty much, you know, lower end cabinetry. This is not the no slam type of drawers. Um, so, you know, and then the appliances are your mid grade appliances. The dishwasher is uh, pretty, pretty upscale, I would say. Um, but everything else, the, definitely the, the range, the microwave, and then the refrigerator, I'd say, is mid-grade to even lower grade, um, but still serviceable. And this is exactly what it, you know, for a rental is exactly what I would want to put in here. So I don't see any issues with that at all. All the windows look newer. So it is a newer home, 2006 build. So I, I would imagine that they're original and... Uh, you know they look good though so for 14 years old you don't have any issues um, I don't see any issues with the seals being broke so a lot of times you'll see them fogging up because the seals have been broke the gas inside of them is leaking out and then that causes uh, moisture to get in there and uh, so that's something that's kinda nice to see these windows appear to be good quality the carpet is older so this is all probably several year old carpet I'd say at least five years probably around five to ten years old carpet okay so this is basically the landing area upstairs so to the left you have uh, two bedrooms and then to the right you have another bedroom that's the master so what we'll do is we'll just kind of go left to right this is your linen slash, you know, um, oh, this isn't a linen closet. This is where the utilities are. So the utilities look like the original water heater. That's a 2007 water heater. And then the HVAC system looks also to be the same. It's probably 2007 or six original getting up there on their lifespan but they probably have a lot of life left so this is one of uh, the four bedrooms so a nice nice size it's a little bit awkward because you have this bump out here but it actually is kind of nice to have a little area like that so you have storage maybe put a little desk there for a kid to do their homework or something like that um, and then a walk-in uh, a walk-in closet which is really nice uh, for a fourth bedroom so nice size so you can fit a queen in here especially if it's up against the wall like they did uh, you could fit a queen in here plus the set so it's a good size no stains on the ceiling so that's good to see always we'll go into the other bedroom so this bedroom looks a little bit smaller just a little bit I'd say you could put a twin in here pretty comfortably with the set. Probably not a queen. Carpet is all older. Window looks good. It is a walk-in closet, which is very nice to see. All the ceilings look free of any kind of stains or anything like that, which is nice. Also have laundry on the on the the bedroom bedroom floor so sorry I'm getting texts while I'm while I'm recording here so I'm reading them getting distracted anyway there's a laundry room on the on the bedroom floor which is very nice that's a very modern feature most people want to see that so you don't have to go too far to go do your laundry you don't have to go up any stairs or anything like that uh, good size it'll fit pretty much anything uh, washer and dryer so you could even stack them up and put some more storage in here if you want you could even put another level of uh, shelving if you want I think you could probably put some shelving over here too maybe even over on this wall and then go down 
Um, probably not too far down. You would obviously want to have this door swing open. But uh, the flooring in here is looks like that rollout laminate. So the rollout laminate is pretty much the cheapest you can get of the hard variety of flooring. The rollout laminate, but it looks really good. So the pattern on it is really, really good. This is this is what I prefer. This is the stuff because for a rental, especially because it's durable, it's cheap. It looks good. It's it looks modern and everything. It's got a wood print on it. The gray, smoky, you know, gray, light gray um, uh, mix, a blend of grays of wood, which is very nice. But it's actually a rollout laminate, so it's pretty cheap, um, as I can see there. So nice. This is your vinyl planks again. So I think this is very similar to what you see downstairs. An upgraded version, so this is actually better than what you see in there um, because of the planks are a little bit more expensive. Um, this does look like it's probably the full waterproof variety, which is what you would want to see in a bathroom. So that's kind of nice that they, they thought ahead there. The sink is older, probably original. They do have upgraded uh, lights, fixtures. Probably an upgraded uh, towel holder. Toilet looks okay. The shower looks pretty good. The tub looks pretty good. And they're all original. This is feels like a, a plastic. Feels like a plastic. It is grouted though. Um, it could be ceramic, but it feels more like a plastic tile. So probably a big plastic tile sheet. Then they just grouted it. But it's good. I don't see any issues in here. No issues of moisture. You tend to have issues with these showers. The showers, especially on this side. So a lot of times you want to put a little barrier. They have these plastic barriers that you put in here. It's like a corner piece. And it prevents any water from getting through the side and coming down here. Because a lot of times, this is very normal, you'll have water from the shower kind of coming out and pulling up in this area and then it seeps through uh, the, the floor here and goes down into the ceiling on the first floor. So that's something that I always like to look for. But, you know, it is newer flooring, so it's hard, you know, to really see if there was any issues in the past. There's your linen, linen closet. So it's something that, you know, I like to look for, but you just never know. With the new flooring, could be covering it up. It did uh, make a little bit of a sound when I was walking on it, so, you know, potentially could have had issues in the past. But it feels very structurally sound. I wouldn't worry about it. No issues with the ceiling. This is a nice, so this is the master. This is the biggest room. You could definitely could put a queen in here, maybe even a king, and have plenty of room for the, uh, uh, the set, the chest of drawers. Plenty of room right here, too. This is a good probably seven feet, maybe six to seven feet between the end of that bed and then the wall. So it's a good size room. And it's tall too, so it makes it feel like it's bigger than even it is. Uh, very, very nice. You can put, uh, as you can see, drawers over here. You can put drawers, chest of drawers over there. Um, plenty of room. So double doors that lead into the master bath. Master bath also has those plank floorings just like you saw in the other the previous bath and an older sink so the countertop and the sink is the probably the original 2006 uh, with probably they painted it looks like they might have painted the cabinets itself um, you have a little area to kind of pull up a little stool and put your makeup on over here for females um, and then fixtures newer looks like you know, something you would get at Ikea or something like that. Newer fixture, modern looking, very nice. So this is the shower. So it is a shower and tub in the master. Um, so that's kind of nice to see. You don't really see that as much anymore in these, um, I'd, what I'd call mid to lower end houses. And uh, so you normally just see the showers. You don't see tubs anymore. Uh, but uh, that is nice to have in here. It's not a jacuzzi tub that I can see So but uh, it could probably be converted. So this is that same tile that you saw in the other one It feels more like a plastic than it does a ceramic 
you know, a little dirty at the bottom, but it's being used. I would say you could probably put some bleach in it or something and clean it out. Get the stains out of there. Toilet looks newer. And then you have your walk-in closet, which is a nice size walk-in closet. Okay, that's the walk-in closet. All right, so that is pretty much the whole house. I'm, we're getting up on the 15-minute mark, so I'm going to go ahead and punch out. But uh, as always, if you have any questions, reach out.